Hello, Namaskar and a very good afternoon to all the viewers watching NCRT's live interactive session. I am Simran Singh and you have all connected with us through Evidya channel number 9. Besides this, there are so many different mediums through which you can connect with us, you can join with us and you can also watch our live as well as recorded programs on our YouTube channel. You all know it's NCRT official. And for this half an hour, we have a session of English for all class 9 students. Well, I believe we all like to hear stories, but how about making one story? Okay, that seems interesting. So, we are going to discuss about story writing and providing us more insights into the conversation we have with us, our expert for the program. So, allow me to introduce you with our today's guest. We have with us Ms. Jagriti Singh Ji. Namaskar, ma'am. Namaste. We welcome you in the conversation. Uh, ma'am is a mentor teacher, TGT English from SKV Rajokri. Direct rate of education Delhi and viewers in this live session if you have any of the queries so feel free to connect with us and at the same time you can give us a call at this contact number that is 8800440559 besides this all the class 9 students can connect with us and also can write to us through this mail id flashing on your screens it is dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in so, viewers, let's begin the conversation. Try and understand more about story writing. So, ma'am, I think information is best told in stories. Yes. yes so, what right. are we going to discuss today? Is it going to be easy, difficult? Tell us more about it. So, it may be difficult, but we are going to make it easy for the students. Perfect. So, we will be talking about story writing as told by Simran that it is uh, a habit in everyone that we make up stories and mm. tell our stories to everyone. So, we will be course. writing them today. So, we like to hear stories. Today, we are going to create one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's begin, ma'am. Okay. So, let's move to the slide. The We will be talking about the elements today, the structure of the story and the tips and some examples that you will see and they will help you write better stories hmm. and the marking part in the CBSC. So, uh, talking about the elements, so what are the different elements in a story writing? So, elements we will be discussing later. The, right. first and, uh, the first and foremost thing that we need to keep in mind is the structure of the story All right. and it has to be in an order. Okay. So, we can see on the slide there is a picture and we have some pictures, six pictures that have to hmm. be arranged in an order. Okay. So, I would re request you to please try and arrange Sure, sure, I love to and um, okay, so let us start with this. Let us have this picture on the screen so our viewers can also make a view and a guess of their own. So, the first one will be uh, preparing a dough, I think that is E. Yes. Okay, then the uh, second one will be uh, C. Yes, correct. Then it will be uh, F. Yes, okay. cutting the cookie dough. Then uh, keeping it in the oven, it will be B. Yes then it has to be A and yes. D is the final product. So, am yes. I correct? You are very much correct. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> I request the viewers to try their own ordering exercises because the sequence and the structure of the story hmm. has ordering and sequencing a very important part of the exercise. So, let us move to the next part. We will be discussing the elements of story writing. Okay. The next slide, please. Okay, so uh, ma'am, when we talk about story writing, I believe there are different kind of stories and they have their own information. So, when we talk about the sequence, does it remain the same for every story or it keeps on changing? Yes, there is a standard format that we follow. Hmm. It has a beginning, a middle and okay. an ending. Okay. And it has different elements that we may discuss in details if we can move to the next slide. First, we will try and see pictures of two stories. Okay. They are part of the class 9 textbook mm -hmm. and I guess the students will be able to guess the name of the stories. Also, you have to tell which one is your favorite story. Can you guess the stories from the pictures? Okay. Uh, see, the, the second one I am able to guess. Okay. I think it is related to something, uh, The Last Leaf okay. by O. Henry maybe. And uh, the first one, okay, that's a little girl. Yes, and your guess is correct. 
this is the last leaf by o henry hmm. so if you remember the story can you tell me what happens in the story maybe a outline okay <laughs> i might not be completely correct but i'll try you can my try. best so i think it's a, it's a story of a hope and inspiration so i believe that there's one this last leaf that remains on a tree and somehow a person uh, or maybe this tree impersonates the personality of a person so that uh, as long as the leaf will survive there's one person in the story one character that is going to live and towards the last i think one of them dies is either, either the character or maybe the painter yeah so you are a bit bit close. correct yeah close in the guess <laughs> uh the story is about a painter who wants to paint a masterpiece hmm. and the masterpiece is the last leaf that becomes a source of hope for the girl who is almost about to die but she lives and the painter dies okay and the little girl by katherine mansfield it is a story about a little girl who craves for her father's affection but gets Uh, gets scolding every time and finally she understands why the father behaves like that so okay. it is a story about relationships and family so let's move to the next part what is story writing let's go to the slide and see story writing is a creative imaginative effective use of writing skills writing a good short story requires techniques and planning for the elements and structure of the story so it requires a good amount of planning and understanding of the structure and format story writing includes many elements like a character or maybe two characters setting plot point of view and theme hmm so let's move uh, further how we can use this to write our stories all right and uh, ma'am before proceeding ahead i think um, when we talk about stories the backbone of the story i believe it's the character is yes. it yes it so is so it's the importance of characters how many characters can be included is there any limit to it that's a very good question so mostly there are two types of characters in a story one is the antagonist uh, that we know as a bad guy hmm and the important one is the protagonist hmm who is the hero of the main story main character of the yes, story yes main character and the antagonist can be a person maybe sometimes nature or the forces of nature it hmm. can be anything so here we'll try to frame a story okay. we have three pictures all right i would ask you to try and make a story out of it okay okay uh, so before going to the uh, pictures okay we might discuss this later yeah uh, let's try and discuss the elements of a story okay so let's discuss the elements of the story there are five key elements to every story which are plot setting characters point of view and theme hmm so the most important thing that a story has is a plot and the plot is the events or actions that drive your story it describes the what of your story means what is happening what characters are there what are they doing and what is the way that they can come out of the conflict or problem that they are having to keep your reader engaged and interested your story should include these plot elements hmm. which means some other elements within the plot which is also an element of the story exposition exposition rising action climax and falling action so as you can see there is a graphic here which shows the mountain and this mountain shows the rising action in the story the parts are exposition rising action and inciting incident you can see a boy hmm. the boy goes goes to kill the dragon he has a sword in his hand and then he kills the dragon that is the climax and then falling action in the story which is the denouement and then the story ends okay uh, so we got to know the elements of a story and there's this exciting word that uh, caught my attention denouement yeah <laughs> what is that am i pronouncing it correct <laughs> uh, denouement is basically the uh, conclusion of the story or when the story is ending Okay. so it tells us about what happens to the characters 
at the end of the story when they have overcome the problem or the conflict in the story all right and uh, what do we call that part that makes a story um, i believe really more interesting the so, area uh, that is i don't want to take the name <laughs> uh, the area where it becomes really very interesting yes. and what we need to know like what is going to happen after that yes it is a thinking point and it has to be the most interesting part of the story hmm. as you can see in movies also yes. it is very interesting to see the climax climax the climax That's is the word, the word. So okay. climax is where it gives chance to the character to show his or her qualities the best. All right. So let's also understand them in detail. Yes, we have other elements. Let's see it on the slide. Setting. So what is a setting? Setting of your story is both the physical location and point in time which your plot takes place. So is it a village, a school, and is it a school in older older times or school in maybe the pandemic times so mm -hmm. it can be different then we have the characters which are basically the most important part of a story how you create your characters that is very important these characters are the people animals beings or personified objects that drive the story so it can have many characters as we already talked two are the main types of characters the protagonist, protagonist and antagonist yes very good so going back to our examples we can see uh, the last leaf it had which characters the two girls and the painter. painter and in the little girl we have the little girl her father her grandmother and her mother so sometimes we have supporting characters also the main characters in the little girl story hmm. are kezia and her father okay so, and then I believe yeah. there is also a theme of the story. So, what is the basic difference between the theme and the plot? See, the plot is basically giving the structure. Yes. Theme is the underlying message that we want to convey. Whether okay. the story is about the family or is it an adventure story. Okay. The period of time that we want to focus upon. Hmm. As we can see, a story's theme is the message woven throughout it. Let's see on the slide often about important topics such as human nature, life or society. It is deeper than the plot or summary. Okay. And it can answer questions like what does it mean to be a family? In the story little girl mm. we can see what happens in their family, what are the dynamics between her and her father. So I think uh, stories are also of different types. Sometimes they are fictional stories yes. when we can cause something on our own. And uh, sometimes they are non-fictional. Maybe uh, they are derived from a real life incident. Do we also call them stories? Yes, sometimes they are called biographies and autobiographies. Yes. But most of the time stories are related to fiction, some kind of some level of fiction in them. Has got some narrative in them. Yes, narrative that is based on some fiction. Maybe a bit is taken from real life and we try to exaggerate some things hmm. and make some things smaller so that the focus is so not. So, that is an amalgamation of uh, the production aspect and how to yes. present it to the viewers. Exactly. So, then uh, comes the point of view which is also an important part. We okay. may move to the previous slide. Point of view is the person who is telling the story. Hmm. So, it may be a first person which means I am telling my story. Narrator. Narrator. I can be the narrator or it can be a second person okay. which happens very rarely. Most of the stories are in third person. Okay. That means the narrator is outside and he or she is not part of okay, the okay. characterization. Someone Let's is speaking on. the lines or maybe there is a voiceover in the story going on. Yes, yes, exactly. All right. So, what are certain do's and don'ts while writing a story? Yeah, so we come to the tips now mm. because it is part of the syllabus and we need to focus on what is important to have and what is not to be included in your story. And you have a word limit which we know we have a word limit of 120 to 150. So, okay. we need to compile all the information, give it a structure of beginning, middle and ending mm. and still make a good story. So, here are the tips. Be creative the start or the hook should be catchy which means which is uh, most of the times given in your question paper in the question only the hook or the start is given the name of characters is introduced or maybe the situation or the place and the theme is introduced long time back yes yes <laughs> uh, like Samir and Shikha was sitting in a park hmm. suddenly 
So yes. this is the hook. Now what happens suddenly that relates to the theme. Hmm. If the theme is adventure, you can make a story out of it, which fo focuses on the adventure. Sure, sure. So the next thing is the character should be lively and relatable. So you, you can be creative, but they should have some element of real life. It should look that these are the people who are like us. And then try to keep a uniform narration point of view, which means mm. it should be f either first person narration and the most, most common one is the uh, third, third person, person narration. Mm. So just keep it uniform throughout and dialogues, you can include one dialogue or two, not more than that and they must be meaningful. Like if you want to create an impact, something suddenly jumped into the story and you can create an impact by mm. wow, what happened. So these are the dialogues, then you can decide the plot based on the hints given in the question, then create interesting twist which gives an interesting climax and the last one is always conclude the story. You should have a proper conclusion mm. where we know what happened to the characters and how the problem was solved. And sometimes uh, do we also leave the stories to a question? Yes, sometimes it happens. We have a story, the lost child in books of class yes. 9 where we don't know what happened to the child he was mm. lost in the fair but we don't know so we have an option of creating our own endings which is even that's quite interesting yes, that is even more interesting <laughs> okay so how can we write one story that is important okay for that exercise i have a table which is showing on the screen i have suggested some settings characters point of view and theme so in settings, we have the options of a village, examination room, a train and characters can be mother and child, friend, Samir and Shikha. So I'll just give an example mm. from myself and then maybe you can try if you sure, like. Sure. So there is a mother and child in a village, mm. but I'm, I'm narrating this story as a third person. So once in a village, a mother and child lived happily. Mm. They did not have too much food to eat. Most of the time, the child felt hungry because their fields did not have any crops. Okay. It had not rained for a long time. Hmm. But one fine day, small droplets fell on the fields and the crops started to germinate. And okay. this gave them hope that they will get some harvest this year hmm. and they will have a lot of food to eat all through the year. Wow. <laughs> so this is one way that you can create a story. <laughs> of course, uh, I think this is an interesting way to create a story uh, yes. where orally you are able to speak a lot and even when you are trying to write it, uh, you need to know certain nitty gritties around. Yes, for the syllabus I would like to focus that hmm. you have to add certain details as well. Hmm. to complete your word limit. So I believe that our viewers can also uh, concoct a story of their own. They can try and come up with something. Yes, this is for the uh, practice only. You can take a screenshot of the table maybe and you can use it for your own practice. Also, we have the marking scheme in the latest slide, which focuses that you have to give a title to your story. This is the most important part. part. It will give you one mark hmm. and the content which has a sustained clarity, it is given two marks and then organization, which we talked about the, the structure and, and the, the sequence. Structure. Yes, that gives you two marks. Okay, so, that so, is all about story writing. So, I believe that these are certain important components whenever we want to write a story. But of course, it's about imagination. And when we have to write our very own story, uh, we can try doing something different, something creative, imaginative. Yes. So, the fun part is creating a story. That yes. is what we love. We love to tell our stories to other people. Yes. We love to make our own and concoct mm. our stories. So, that is the fun part. But being a part of the syllabus, we need to restrict ourselves of course, in some of course. places. Otherwise, we can write long stories whenever we have a chance. So I believe that our viewers have got an idea of how to create a story, how to write one story, how to imagine and cross the boundaries of imagination at times when you like it. So thank you so much, ma'am, for connecting with us and sharing this precious information with us. Thanks thank a you. lot. Thank you so much for having me. 
Thank you to all the viewers who have connected with CIET and CRT for this particular live interactive session of English. So viewers, uh, let me apprise you that before concluding this program, here is an important piece of information for all of you. Well, this information is related to a competition and the last date for submitting your entries is 10th of January 2024. And the information is as such, CIT and CRA is very happy to announce the All India Children's Educational E-Content Competition for this year. So, if you are a teacher, a teacher educator, student or independent educational e-content creator, we invite you to send in your best e-content for the competition. For more details and the registration form, you can visit the activity section of our official website that is www.ciet.ncrt.gov.in or either scan the QR code that is right there on your screen. The last date for sending your entry is 10th of January 2024. So viewers, the last date is 10th January 2024. So do submit your entries before that. Thank you once again for connecting with us. And this is a wrap up for our program of English. And next up, we have our five days online training program. So stay connected and stay tuned with NCRE official and also on PM Evidya channels. Namaskar.